Topic 8. Employment. Ready for work. After you arrive in the United States and start to adjust to your new home, it is time for you to get ready to go to work. Having a job in the United States is very important because it allows you to take care of yourself and your family without having to rely on assistance from the government. Importance of working. Having a job provides you with money to pay your rent and bills and buy food and clothes. This is called being self-sufficient. Working is not a choice in the United States, but a necessity for almost everyone. Finding a job. Your resettlement agency or an employment agency will work with you to help you find a job. Talk to them about your background, work experience, skills, and interests. Mention any jobs you cannot take because of religious beliefs. They will help you understand what type of job you can find. Tips to finding a job. Many jobs are found through people you know. Talk with friends, relatives, and others in the community about job openings and opportunities. Taking English classes and learning about American culture will help you to prepare for working in the United States. Finding a job in your first months in the United States is not always easy. Be persistent and do not give up. Job interview. A job interview is a meeting between you and an employer to see if you are a good fit for the job. Most employers require a job interview before they decide to hire you. Job interview. For the job interview, it is important that you prepare to talk about your work experience and skills. Dress appropriately and practice good hygiene. Arrive to the job interview on time. Make eye contact, smile, and shake hands with the employer. Starting a job. When an employer offers you a job, they should tell you how much the wage or salary will be, when you will be paid, your work schedule, how many hours a week you will need to work, and if you will receive benefits like health coverage, vacation days, and sick days. Getting paid. Income is the money you receive when you work. Income usually has a certain amount subtracted from it called taxes or withholding. Income tax is money you pay to the government. The amount of money you pay depends on how much you earn and your family size. Taxes. The U.S. government uses taxes to help pay for things such as social security, law enforcement, education, and public transportation. Anyone who lives in the United States and earns an income is required by law to file a tax return and pay any taxes they owe. Income. Gross income is your income before any deductions have been subtracted from it. Net income is your income after de deductions have been subtracted from it, such as taxes and health insurance. This is the amount you will receive on your paycheck. Minimum wage. In the United States, the minimum wage an employer can pay you depends on the state where you work. It is against the law for your employer to pay you less than the minimum wage. Work schedule. A normal work week is 40 hours a week. If you work more than 40 hours a week, you may be entitled to receive overtime pay. Men and women in the workplace. In the United States, both parents often work because having two incomes helps families become self-sufficient. It is also common for women to do the same jobs as men and for women to supervise male employees. Employee rights. You have the same rights in the workplace as a U.S. citizen. Employers cannot discriminate against employees based on refugee status, age, race, religion, ethnicity, sex, or disability. There are employment laws in the United States that protect you from unsafe working conditions. Tips on working in the United States. Follow the work schedule your employer gives you. Always arrive to work on time. If you are going to be late, call your supervisor. Tips on working in the United States. Try not to miss a day of work. If you have to miss a day of work because you are sick or you have a family emergency, call your supervisor to let them know. Be reliable, respectful, 
responsible and friendly. Follow the dress code and maintain good hygiene. Follow safety guidelines so you do not get hurt. Take on new responsibilities and tasks. Working hard may help you get a promotion or pay increase. Tips on working in the United States. If you decide to quit your job, tell your supervisor at least two weeks before you are going to leave. Keep a good relationship with your supervisor. When you move to another job, the supervisor can say nice things about you to your next employer. Job upgrading. Your first job in the United States may not be related to your former profession or pay a lot of money, but it will give you experience and skills to find a better job. It is important to accept a job offer even if it is not what you expected. Think about your future. Your first jobs in the United States will help you become self-sufficient, increase your work experience, learn new skills, and improve your English. Think about your future. Try to stay with your first job at least six months to establish a work history. Doing these things will help you get a better job and earn more money in the future. Setting goals. Talk with your caseworker about setting realistic employment goals and making a plan to achieve your goals. A better job plus more money equals security and more opportunities for you and your family.